Hello, Gina Kovarubius here. I am happy to present you with a couple of very basic items that every employee should know about their own employment. And this is in light of all of the recent layoffs we've been hearing about, especially in the tech world. We're going to cover what it means to be an at-will employee. We're going to talk about the employee contract. And then where does that leave you? What are you supposed to do with all of this information? According to Indeed.com, at-will employment is a working environment in which your employer is free to terminate you at any time and without any cause, explanation, or prior warning. Yes, folks, that is true. Your employer has that right as long as they don't violate any state or federal laws. And we'll take a look at some of those on the next slide. But the good news is that you also have the same right. You can walk away at any time for any reason, and you don't even have to give a notice by law. Of course, if you wanna be professional about it, at least put in a two weeks notice. Now your employer cannot fire you due to some of these things listed here. This is not an all-inclusive list based on your race, religion, whether or not you're pregnant and so on. Now the last bullet, discussions among employees. What I mean by this is that you're allowed to talk to your colleagues about salary. You're allowed to talk to your colleagues about organizing or collective bargaining. You cannot be fired for those reasons. If you want additional information, if this is something of interest to you, here are a couple of resources at the bottom, nlrb.gov and eeoc.gov. One's a board, one's a committee, and they have all kinds of good stuff on their websites. But this is important to know, you have the right to talk to your colleagues and you have the right to not be fired based on some of these things listed here. Now let's talk about the contract that you sign with your employer. The whole purpose of the contract is to spell out in black and white the agreements that you make with your employer. So for example, it will list your salary, it will probably list your responsibilities and general duties, your benefits, and so on. Now what this means, and this is really important, so pay attention to this next slide. A contract generally does not offer or guarantee raises and bonuses. It does not guarantee promotions or career development, such as additional trainings or going to conferences. But a contract generally does not guarantee other items that people look for in a job, such as praise, appreciation, job security, making you feel valued. These are not things that your employer is obligated to give you. Your employer's job is to compensate you. That's it. That's really important to understand. And I'm gonna break this to you. I have to tell a lot of people this. It is not your job's job to make you happy. It's really not. And we'll take it one step further. It is actually your own job. It is your own obligation to yourself to fulfill your emotional needs, whether you're looking for happiness whether you're looking for stability, you want to feel secure, you want someone to value you, and so on. Try to generate those from within. That would be the ideal situation. And if you don't know how to do that, send me an email, let me know. That is what I do. So the takeaway here is that external things that are out there in the world, like a job, is not obligated to fulfill your own emotional needs. If you rely on your job to make you feel a certain way, I refer to that as career attachment. And that means when the job is going great, life is good. When the job is not going very good, life can be miserable. And we don't want to put ourselves in that position. So the takeaway is to try to create autonomy for yourself by fulfilling your own emotional needs first. That way you don't need it from any employer, you don't need it from any job, and that makes you very powerful. 
your challenge is to answer these questions. I want you to think about who am I without my job or without any job? Am I happy with what the result would be if my job goes away? So I want you to think about that. What is left if the job goes away right now? And I'm going to leave you with this final quote, that the state of your job can never be better than the state of your being. And if there's nothing else you took away, that is the one thing I want you to remember about employment. It's about what you're bringing to the job. It's not about what the job is giving to you.